So you might be trying to figure out why your particular iOS update that you basically spent so much time downloading and installing or whatever, it's not installing and it's taking way too long for it to install. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The number one reason why it might be taking a little bit too long for a particular iOS update or iOS version to install on your particular iPhone is that sometimes it might just be a very, very big update and you're just going to have to wait a little bit of time for it to officially install. Now, sometimes if your phone does not have enough battery while it's char you know, installing, sometimes it might have almost installed the update, then it almost ran out of battery, and then it just basically uninstalled the update for you. So what I'd recommend doing is going through keeping your phone plugged in while you're going through and basically charging up your phone. This is, once again, one of the more important things you can do here too. It's just another one of those easy things you can just kind of throw in here, go through, basically you know, update your phone that way, and that is another very, very easy thing to do here. So plug it in, see if that ends up fixing it. Now, if that still doesn't work, keep your phone plugged in, but I would recommend just letting your phone sit there for like another like five to 10 minutes. If your phone has been installing the update for like five to 10 minutes, then give it another 10 minutes. But if it's been installing it for like hours, then the next thing you could probably do is to go through and just try force restarting your phone. You can do this by clicking the volume up, volume down button, and then holding the side button on your phone and your phone could end up restarting that way. Or what you could do is go through and plug in your phone to some sort of Mac or PC that has the iTunes app built in or sign, you know, logged in. And then you wanna see if your computer discovers that your phone has been like, you know, it has a problem. And then from there, it can kind of fix the problem from there and it can reinstall the software for you from there. So if those things are still not working, then you can just try installing the update straight from your Mac at that point. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.